What's going on YouTube? I'm Brandon. You're back in the Gillstrap garage and we're still working on the Dyna. Uh, earlier this summer when I was doing some stuff to this bike, I came across a broken bolt here and I said that job was going to have to wait until the winter time because I wanted to ride it. Well, it's winter time and I don't have everything I need to do this today. I don't have my welding hood, my gloves, my drill, but I'm going to tear it down, see see if I can make something happen on pulling this out. And we're also going to change this crash bar away from this hoop bar. We're going to go back to a bunking bar. And I've got a bunch of other projects I'm going to work on today. Might make some other videos of them, probably getting some stuff done on my Monte Carlo. Maybe get some of the cockpit controls done up here. I don't know, but we're going to focus on getting this off right now. All right, first I'm going to loosen up almost all the way, loosen this top bolt up. Okay, took it all the way off. Now I've got two bolts just like these ones. I'm gonna pop off on this side. All I've got left is this one bolt holding it on. And there's a crash bar. I have to make sure to take my wife's take my wife's bell off of here. Put that somewhere else on the bike in case she's riding it. And what I thought I was gonna do today, I didn't remember how that bolt was broke. I remembered it being a flush cut break, but that thing is way countersunk in there. So there goes that plan. I was gonna weld a washer to it and then weld a nut to it and then cut it off, but she's in there. Let's go at it. Shout out to Danny for the drill. I know you're watching. Danny's always still watching, commenting on the videos and everything. Let's see how smoked all my drill bits are. The problem is from other attempts, the hole is already like countersunk in. It ain't even biting. Like at all. That ain't doing a damn thing. All I'm trying to do right now is get this. I got a carbide bit in there. I'm just trying to get that surface flattened out a little bit. You can see maybe it's not so steep of a radius on there. Cause I'm telling you this thing is cupped like it's cupped in there far and it's off centered. So that's kind of sucks. This drill is just not fast enough to power this carbide bit. Uh, I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but you didn't miss anything because I didn't make any progress anyway. I've been working at it with the Dremel. The Dremel has a pretty good carbide bit on there. I mean, it ain't brand new, but it's still a good bit. Won't touch it. My drill bits won't touch it. It's got to be a stainless steel bolt in there. It's, it's super hard. Like, I cannot get a bite on it. So, I've got some better drill bits at work. I'm going to bring them home, I'd like to say tomorrow, and... Try to get that thing ran through there because that thing is so tight. I mean, I can see that the condition of this hole, I already know I'm going to have to Healy coil it, which isn't a big deal, but I got to get all that crap out of there. And that, that's, this one sucks. Before I fully give up on this for the day, I've got a little bit more aggressive carbide bit. I'm going to see what she does. All right, so I've been messing with this broken bolt in here for probably a couple hours now, uh, kind of just smoking through carbide bits. <laughs> uh, but I went and bought a diamond tip tile bit and just tried it out and I, I think I'm getting it. So 
I'm gonna hopefully show you guys some success finally. That thing is so far in there. She's getting there. I think we're about to break through because my bit's grabbing really hard. Right, now that I finally got that bolt out, and I'm hoping I have the footage because I saw that I was recording when I didn't think I was. <laughs> oh, I'll be so bummed out if I lost all the footage drilling that out, but we're gonna get our crash bar on. Okay, so for this crash bar, we have to take our voltage regulator off, kind of hang it forward. And I need a ratchet. I'm gonna ditch this goofy chrome cover too. All right, I'll have to get some different bolts for it because he's got big old long, big old long bolts with some spacers in there for the regulator. I'm gonna get, you know, I need to lock up my bolts real quick. You put this on, you want to get it all the way up to the frame as you snug it up. Well, that was a lot of work for what should just be a really easy job throwing that crash bar on there. Um, but like I said earlier when I moved out here and started turning into this bike that that was gonna be a job for winter time and we got it done. I know now if somebody came to me and said that they had a bolt broke off in that same location, I'm gonna hit them with that price that I don't wanna do it price of like at least $200, 200, 250, I don't know. That was not a fun job. Stress level high, cause I didn't wanna break that tap. I didn't wanna damage anything worse than it was, but we got it done and I'm glad that it's done because I mean that crash bar looks great. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna clean up some of this work and jump into another project probably to make another video cause I'm gonna keep them coming. So. Stick around, subscribe so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next video.